Hi guys, how's it going and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today we face Sheffield Wednesday away from home and I absolutely cannot wait. Obviously we're pretty much up now, uh, while well, staying up that is. Um, they sit in 7th place, they're not on the best of form, you know, considering you know the team that they've got and the players they've got and the size of club that they are. Um, However, you know, they did beat Burton 5-2, I think it was like five games ago. And then obviously they beat Cambridge at home 6-0. Um, let's not hope that happens to us. Um, but yeah, today could be interesting, but obviously there's absolutely no pressure on the players whatsoever, you know. Um, none of the fans that are going there today expect anything. Um, it's just going to be a good day on the whole. Hopefully, you know, we don't get thumped. Uh, if I'm going to give a score prediction, I'm going to go for a 3-1 to Sheffield, I think now. Yeah, that'll just show their class today. But yeah, your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Thank you for the support of late. It does absolutely mean the world. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do smash like and subscribe. That'd be massively appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's get down to the ground. Right then, so the lineups are now out. Um, bit of a mess, really. Atate's back on the bench, which is good, although Colker is injured by the sounds of it, so that's not great because he's been some decent performances and we were hoping that he'd be a regular starter for the rest of the season. He's not, obviously, he's picked up an injury, whether that's bad or not so severe. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Hutchinson comes into the team also. Still only May as a proper striker, so we could be seeing Matty Blair play up front again. I mean, it didn't work too badly against Plymouth, but obviously we didn't score any goals. And against similar opposition today, once again, we'll struggle. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Freeston and Sherkin come out of the team. Uh, obviously the usuals in defence, etc. So yeah, it's not a bad team. Hopefully we can get something today, but obviously, you know, we just got to enjoy today as the fans because away days like this don't come around very often. But yeah, let's go to kick off.
Well done at half time. Charlton Sound won, uh, Sheffield won. Um, they could easily be winning if they could take their chances. They are very good. They are very good. Bannon is quality. Um, they pass it really well. Off the ball, you know, their players make a lot of runs. They're a very good side and they should be getting playoffs this season. But, you know, it comes down to taking chances, which they haven't done. They've had a few very big ones. So I think. Uh, we started off the best side in the first five ten minutes and then they absolutely demolished us for the rest so yeah hopefully the lads can come back out better in the second half i take a point from this but I can't see it ending that way we'll see how it goes but yeah let's go back out there
Too much space. That is it for today's match day vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Um, overall, I, I don't think it was an overall terrible performance. We didn't deserve to concede four goals. They were very good. Like that, that, that quality shot through. But we didn't help ourselves. You know, we didn't prevent it well enough. And to be honest, we we gave them way too much time to utilise. You know the skills that they have in their locker. So it is what it is. <laughs> Up the boys. <laughs> well, I mean, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, it, it's it's one of those, isn't it? It, it, it? It's a loss that was, to a certain extent, expected. But four goals 
is more than us deserved. But yeah, I thank you for coming across watching. Have a class yesterday, and I'll see you in the next one.